But hello lovelies, welcome to the next video. Um, the next video, that sounds weird. So if you haven't watched my vlog before, then you won't know. But this is just a continued um, video from that one. It's just that the vlog was far too long, so I didn't want to keep going. So I ended it there and I've started a new vlog. And this video is basically showing you the pieces that I picked up from Vinted and a few bits from ASOS. And actually uh, two clothing as well because I said that I would show you the underwear that I picked up from Sainsbury's too um, but I didn't get around to showing you that so let me show you what I got <laughs> So if you are new over here, hello, welcome to my video, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Jodie, over on this channel I do everything to do plus size fashion, along with uh, plus size fashion I love promoting body confidence and just showing the real real life um, and just inspiring you to live um, your best life basically, no matter what um, size you are, what gender you are, what skin colour you are, if you have a disability or not, just learning to live and accept who you are for what you are and what you look like. So um, I hope that that my videos inspire you to just live your best life really. Um, if that sounds like a channel you would love to be part of and love to watch then please do hit that subscribe button below and there's a notification button down there if you tap on that it will notify you every time I've uploaded a new video so go ahead and tap that notification button so that you never miss one of my uploads. Um, so today I literally am just continuing from my last vlog uh, which was just a, a vlog and then I was going to do a vintage haul because I've been picking up the most loveliest bits from vintage, finding really good bargains and yeah I really wanted to show you what I've picked up and then I also have some ASOS bits that just arrived so I'm going to show you those um, but first let me show you the underwear that I picked up from Two Clothing which I said to you that I was going to show you in my last video so these are the um, the underwear sets that I picked up well <clears throat> there were a pack of two bras so these are non-padded bras wired um, a really lovely um, soft um, stretchy material not too much stretch but a little bit of stretch but a lovely floral detail as you can see these purple and pink flowers and green leaves everywhere and um, with that one came a really lovely pink uh, like a dusky pink which I've already worn really like that and then I picked up the um, knicker set so these came a pack of three which was the floral ones and the pink dusky ones which I've already worn um, so yeah so these ones and then they also come with another pair of um, underwear like plain um, cream coloured ones but there was no bra so it was only a pack of two bras but I did actually pick up this bra from I think I picked this up from Asda a few weeks ago it was in the cell um, this one is a padded bra but it is really quite pretty as you can see here and I thought actually I didn't have any um, like the same colour um, knickers to go with it so I just paired um, these two together so I've popped these in my underwear drawer so I can wear these two as a set so it worked out perfectly because I had bought these a few weeks ago um, but they're really really nice really comfortable I, I used to only wear padded bras but now I don't only wear padded bras if anything I wear non-padded most of the time and then I wear maybe a padded um, every now and then like maybe if I'm going out somewhere special or whatever but um, yeah I'm mostly in non-padded and then every now and then I wear padded so yeah so really like those sets really reasonable price but and they feel really nice on the body um, I'm so big on fabrics and making sure that I feel comfortable with and everything that I wear down to my underwear and they are so silky soft and got a nice bit of stretch in them and just yeah feel really nice under your clothes so yeah I wanted to show you those right I'm going to slip on um, some underwear and maybe uh, just my shapewear 
shapewear thing so I can change in and out of clothes and just uh, yeah put my shapewear bodysuit thing on just for a bit of modesty and I'll show you some bits that I picked up from Vinted. Okay so I have um my shapewear on just for a bit of modesty i'm filming in my bedroom because i cannot be bothered to take all of the clothes downstairs and my room's not that big so i'm just working with what i have so i hope that um this is going to be okay but we'll we'll make do um i'm going to first show you all of the trousers that i picked up from vintage first i actually wore these last night um it was valentine's day yesterday and um hubby took me out like he surprised me and booked a table um at a restaurant and we went out for something to eat and so because it was last minute i really didn't have any sort of um like outfit prep so i just had to just kind of think on the spot like what we're we gonna do so uh i just want all black moment um so yeah so these are a pair of trousers that i picked up from vintage they're from river island they were brand new they're like this kind of like stretchy really thick stretchy um material uh where did i put the um tag hold on a second let me just reach over here okay so um they came with the tag on uh these are a size 22 and they were 36 pounds originally and i picked these up how much did i pick them up for i really should have got my phone out to have a look i think i picked these up for eight pounds or six pounds even um and yeah i i've like honestly they feel really really nice on they're like really nice and body hugging and I, I love a pair of trousers that are body hugging like I'm just so about the skinny jean I just feel like that like suits my body best because I'm quite big hit I just think that when I have jeans or trousers that are loose, although I do have some loose stuff, um, sometimes it doesn't always work for me. So I have to be, it's quite a, a process to find a pair of trousers that I like that are loose fitting. So I do always kind of stick with the skinny girl, skinny jean look kind of thing. Um, but yeah, these are really nice. And like I said, they were um, like six pounds, brand spanking new. Um, and yeah, really like these and they came in the wrapper as well. So they were like, they were, they, they came from a smoke and pet free home. So, um, they, yeah, they were, I was really, really chuffed with those. So I will try them. Shall I just try them on as we go? Let's try them on. Shall we try them on as we go? Yeah, let's try them on as we go. So we'll pop these on. They're like really nice and stretchy. They feel really nice on. I might have to push you back a bit. So as you can see, they fit like a glove. They fit really nice. They are a bit slippery with this kind of slippery uh, material. But Okay, so I've cut my head off a little bit just so you guys can see. Um, but these are the trousers. They don't have any pockets. Um, they've got pockets at the back, but no pockets at the front, but they're like a really nice kind of smart pair of black trousers and they're just really, really comfortable. This is what they look like at the back. So, so nice. I am so chuffed with these to get these for like six pounds with a 36 pounds, um, you know, brand new tag on them is an absolute steal so yeah absolutely love these definitely a thumbs up we've got a few thumbs ups and we do have a few thumbs downs i'm going to show you some tops actually i'm going to get the tops out so i can try tops on with these trousers and i've got a couple of other pairs of trousers to show you but um yeah really really like these so these definitely get a thumbs up from me okay next up we have this really lovely uh, H&M like silky blouse it's 
like a cream with blues and blacks in it and i really like this it was pre uh pre-loved so the lady said that she'd worn it like a couple times at like once or twice which was no problem i stuck it in the wash it came and it you know it was um smelt really nice um so but i still pre-washed it again i haven't ironed it though uh and you can see like there's no damage or nothing uh, it, it almost is like brand new so yeah um this is in a size 2xl which i'm sure a 2xl was a size 22 I'm not sure. Yeah, it should be a size 22. Um, but yeah, so this is the next top. And this is what this one looks like. And I actually really like this. Like, I love, um, I lo I'm really into the silk, at, like the satin at the moment. As you can see, I wear, I wear satin pyjamas. I love, like, a silky satin top. Um, and this is really nice. It's a really nice um blouse top and my change in style like dressing has really changed as well like i'm really you know i don't know kind of changing the way i dress and i'm really going back into wanting to wear shirts and blouses and stuff like that so i uh, don't get me wrong i'll still wear a hoodie and t-shirts but i'm just really loving wearing you know a blouse or a, a shirt so yeah i've always loved the shirt but i'm um, yeah really getting into wearing like blouses and shirts a, a lot more these days but yeah i picked this one up for three pounds which honestly it, to me is an absolute steal the shape of it's really nice i love the way it just flows a bit like a little bit more at the bottom and then this is what it looks like at the back so yeah overall definitely uh, an absolute thumbs up for this i really really like it so this is this one so these these are like winners there's a couple of uh not such winners that i have stuck back on to vintage and actually i'm going to show you them today because i've stuck them back on and some of them have already sold so i need to pack them back up um let's throw this one over here this one is a winner winner chicken bloody dinner so this was um a pre-loved so i think it had been worn once or twice it literally looks absolutely spanking brand new was it brand new it may have been brand new it may have been brand new without tags but it's a george as the top it's this really lovely like pinky lilac color um, it's a size 22, but it is quite like over, kind of oversized. But, oh my God, it's really nice. This could be worn with like a nice little white. So, as you can see, it is rather quite oversized. But what I did was I, when I tried it on, I have washed it. Um, so, it smells really lovely now. It's all lovely and fresh and clean. Um... I mean, even the stuff, like, people, they do say, oh, you know, comes from, uh, but every home has their own sort of smell or, s like, scent, you know, um, and we don't always smell it. But, yeah, when you get clothes from people's homes, sometimes, even if it is washed, you still can kind of smell their home or whatever. Not saying that their home's smelly, but, yeah, I just always like to give um, the clothing a wash in my washing machine with my fabric, um softener i'm oh, i love um putting the beads in and fabric conditioner I, I do overdo it with that but i do love the smell of it and i love the smell of it on your clothes and your wardrobe and in your house when you hang clothes out and you can smell that lovely clean uh washing so yeah so that's that's me so this has the tie up things and i tied it up when i tried it on and i thought it looked a bit better i am a i do like my um sleeves sometimes to be a bit three quarter length so as you can see it's very sort of like flowy um but i really like it i love it with the black underneath as well but this would be nice with white underneath you could have it open um you could wear out like an open shirt and put another top underneath but yeah i love the length of it it's a nice kind of long lines um top 
um, this is what it looks like at the side and this is what it looks like at the back. I honestly, I tried this on and I was like, I absolutely love this. I don't know if it's showing up great because like there's not that much great lightning, but I will try and light up, lighten up this video. Um, but yeah, really, really love this and it gets a thumbs up. Again, I think I paid about £3.50 for this. <sighs> Absolute steal. So, thumbs up for this one. So, if you watched my last vlog, remember I told you there was a, a shirt that I bought that the lady advertised it as a size 22. Um, but then, when, it, when I tried it on, it did not fit at all. And I was like, how can this be a size 22? Um, and it's got a 1XL on it. Um, so I, I, it's from H&M, it's brand new with tags on it. I think I got it for about £4.50, or no, actually, I think I got it for about £6. Um, and, uh, I went on H&M to check the XL size, and XL is actually a 20, 22, which personally for me, especially in a shirt or a blouse, because of, like, my hips, that I knew that this, like would be too small if i had seen she advertised it as a 2022 i wouldn't have bought it so uh, i contacted her back and said i'm really sorry but um you advertise this as a size 22 and it's actually a 2022 if i had known that i wouldn't have bought it so she's um allowed me to return it so i'm going to send this back to her today but i will show you it on it's a really lovely like bluey kind of greeny teal color but like I said, it's too small for me. As you can see, it's a lovely colour. Um, but yeah, like, can you see, guys? It's way too small. Um, but yeah, the colour's absolutely stunning. It's a really lovely top. So this will be going back to her. And she will probably pop it back onto um, Vinted. So I'd definitely say, like, if you love stuff like this, go check it out. This would be so nice. Um, this could be nice tucked in some trousers if you like to, the tucking kind of look or yeah loose fitting if you are like a smaller size but like I said this is um yeah too small for me which is such a shame so that is going to go back so yeah I'm not going to put that back on the hanger I'm just going to pop that here I've got a lot of like silky shirts you're going to be like what the hell Jodie so this is the next shirt blouse that i bought it is a size 24 so it is a little bit big and i think it is an oversize the brand is um coco k coco and k i think i've never heard of this brand but this feels really nice like a really nice quality top <clears throat> however when i tried it on <clears throat> Hubby said it looked too big on me, but I honestly really do like it. And I, I think that maybe if I tucked it into some trousers um, to stop it looking so big and baggy. But we'll see. Maybe I might have to re-upload it. But again, like I got it for about £4. So um, a really good price. And as you can see, it is a really kind of oversized um, top. But I just, I oh, don't, look, it is drowning me, isn't it? I tried it on yesterday and thought, oh my God, it is drowning me. But I was like, can I try and make it work? I'm not really a, a tucker inner, so I'm not really quite sure. But I was thinking like, if I did tuck it in, I don't know, guys. You'll have to let me know. But yeah, I might have to just re-upload it. But I do just really love it. Like, look at the actual um color and the print is so pretty and the cuffs are really nice as you can see they've got the lo lovely little fabric buttons i love the fabric buttons they're kind of a bit of a balloon sleeve um size 24 i may re-upload this so if i do and you like it like if you do like it keep an eye out on my vintage because you never know it might pop up but <sighs> it's so nice it's a nice long length um uh, kind of oversized shirt and yeah like I said it's a size 24 which is a bit big for me but I mean it's beautiful isn't it the colour's lovely this is what it looks like at the back it's got these lovely sort of um, fabric uh, little cute buttons on it and yeah so 
as it stands i'm not sure what i'm going to do with this if i'm going to keep it or not guys you're going to have to let me know how can i make this work for me um and not drowning me because the hubby was like you've lost quite a lot of weight and this is not doing anything for you but at the end of the day i just feel like i'm not i mean i'm not i don't care what if something makes me look a bit bigger as long as i like it and i feel good in it that's all that matters um but yeah it is drowning me a bit so yeah so this is this one i love it i'm gonna give it a thumbs up but it is too big so that's that one i think it's gonna turn out that i'm literally gonna wear these trousers for the whole haul because they literally go with everything um so yeah so that's that one which i absolutely love but it may have to go back on it's been washed and it's um it was pre-loved again another top that i picked up six pounds i got this for uh brand new with tags on it it's from the brand kaleidoscope i think that says um and it is a beautiful kind of hot pink I'm bending down because I've just dropped the tie thing. Hot pink colour. Um, do you know what? When I see it for the price, I think she had had it on there for six pound, but I think I bargained with her and got it for cheaper. So always barter, always try. If something's a really good price, just buy it because otherwise you'll lose. What I've realised is you're going to lose out because somewhere else is just going to be like, that's a good price and just buy it. I've done that before. I've seen something and I thought, well, they put that on there for cheap. And I thought, oh, let's see if I can get it for any cheaper. And by the time I've I've done that, it's sold. So if you do like something, it is a good price, just buy it. Um, But if you feel like um you could get something for a bit of a better price, then go ahead and just offer them a price. Um, so yeah, so this is the next uh, top, which it is, it is pretty, but I, I just don't know if I'm actually going to wear this. This is the only thing. I, I bought it and I was like, yeah, nice, brand new, yeah. And now I'm like, am I actually going to wear this? Um, but yeah, it is really nice. It is love. It's a lovely uh, made top. It, you can feel it feels really nice quality. It does come with this tie, but honestly, I don't know what to do with this because if you put this on, then it covers this cute little button. So this, I just, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to use that because I don't really know what that's for, why, why it um, has that. But it comes up a little bit at the front here, but covers over the tummy at the sides. Um, it's a beautiful kind of uh, satiny, silky material. Really nice. It the fit is beautiful. It's a size. I think it's a size twenty two. It might be a size. Yeah, I think it is a size twenty two. Um, and the sleeves. I don't know if they're meant to be long sleeve. Yeah, I think they are meant to be long sleeve, but I'm always trying to pull my sleeves up. So, yeah, no, they are a long sleeve. It is a really pretty top. I'm not sure. You guys are going to have to let me know. This is what it looks like at the back. So, you've got like an elasticated bit here. <sighs> my vintage bargains. I absolutely love it. So, yeah, so this is this one. <clears throat> As you can see, a cute little button here. And like I said, she had it up for like six pounds and I'm sure I got it for like maybe a pound off of that because I am the biggest bargain hunter. And like I said, if you guys have a look on my page and you like something and, um, you know, just barter with me because I'm always willing to um, knock something off of um, an item. Um, so, yeah, so... That's that one, which is really, really pretty. And then this was like such a quick, silly buy. Not a silly buy, but I haven't got a red T-shirt. And I really wanted a red T-shirt to wear um, underneath my coat. I'll show you the kind of vibe that I was looking for. But this is a, a next T-shirt and I got it for one pound. It's got like... Um, little zippers up the side but like i said like one pound you can't go wrong and i think it is slightly what size is it it's a size 24 which i was absolutely fine with because i don't mind a, like an oversized t-shirt it it's absolutely fine 
So literally just a plain uh, red t-shirt. I'll show you the vibe that I wanted to go for. It's got a little pocket at the side. I'll show you the vibe. Hold on a second, guys. Okay, I'm back. So, what's this one? Oh, my other coat's molting onto this coat. So, this is my beautiful autograph coat that I picked up from Marks and Spencers in the sale. But I really wanted to wear red underneath this coat because I thought it would look really nice. So, the vibe I was going for red and this colour looks like i always seem to always go for like a natural nude nudie beiges and stuff like that when i wear like um when i wear this color but i felt like actually i i want to kind of try and wear a bit of color as well so yeah the vibe i was going for was like a red t-shirt under here maybe some blue jeans or whatever but um, yeah, that was the vibe. But yeah, like I said, just a one pan t-shirt. I mean, you cannot go wrong. Um, and this is, this was a steal. This was like a nearly 200 pound coat and I got it for like 36 pounds. I'm slightly obsessed with coats. They're like my favorite thing to buy. Right, let's pop this up there. Okay, so like I said, this was just one pound. It's a really lovely kind of slouchy, um, silky kind of material. Um, and yeah, really happy with this uh, for one pound. Cannot go wrong. I have so many tops down here and t-shirts that I'm getting rid of. And actually, I don't, I don't know if I should bun, just bundle t-shirts together to sell on um to sell on vintage because i i've never really sold t-shirts on vintage i i had a good sort out of my wardrobe i just like was a bit ruthless and got rid of loads of stuff that i just know i'm not gonna wear um and i chucked away some stuff there was some stuff that actually like i kept on to that were really old and tatty but i just I wore them a lot and I was like, there's no way I'm putting that on vintage because I've seen some people put things on vintage and I'm like, that's a bit cheeky to put that on vintage. Like there's holes in it or in the inside legs are a little bit worn and you're like, that I wouldn't put that on vintage. So, but yeah, some people do put things like that on vintage. But again, you do find some really lovely stuff that are brand new with tags on or been worn once or twice and just in really good nick. So yeah, so this is the next thing that I picked up and I've actually resold this on um, vintage. So I've got to pack this up. It is this uh, lovely uh, city chic, um, kind of like a uh, mesh, like sheer kind of top and then like a little vest top underneath. It's a size 24, so it is um, quite big and I feel like it does swamp me a bit, to be honest. I don't know why I keep looking at size 24s. I need to just look at 20s, 22s. Um, so yeah, so this is a size 24. And you know what, it, it, this is a really nice top, but I put it on, am I putting this on right? I put it on and actually, you know, I didn't get that wow factor. And unless I get a wow factor, like, oh, I really like this, I'm not keeping it because I've got too much. Um, I've got too much. Oh God, I don't know if I put this up. This is the only thing with tops like this. They're rather quite fiddly. Right. Okay, so I got it on, finally. So there's a little hole um, under the armpit here that you thread the tie through, as you can see. So it's like a true wrap top. Remember, I've got my black shape ground beneath. Um, I'm going to take that. This is what I mean. It's all so fiddly. It's a bit too, too much for me. And it just hurts my arms trying to do all of this. You've got these big flowy sleeves, as you can see. Now, you could tie this up at the front or the back, I'm assuming. You could tie it up wherever you wanted to. I'm just going to tie it here because it's a bit easier for me. Um, so, yeah, so this is, this is the brown top. 
I did, I do think I got this, uh, this was a little bit more pricey. I did get this for, I think, about £8. Or I might have even got it for more than that. Um, so it was a bit more pricey. But it, uh, it looked absolutely lovely in the pictures. Actually, do you know what? It, it is a really nice top. Um, but I don't know. I just, I don't know. I popped it on. And when I did pop it on, I was, like, not very wowed about it. But now I've got it on now. I'm, I'm liking it. It is really nice. You've got these lovely sort of big flowy seeds. I think this is what was getting on my nerves, these arms. Um, but like I said, it's got a lovely length in it. So it covers over your tummy. Um, it is a beautiful top and I do love bran. Uh, bran is one of these colours that actually I've only just kind of discovered and actually started liking. But yeah, like I said, it's a really nice wrap style top with the tie. Um, you've got the little vest top underneath. And this is what it looks like at the back. And it looks lovely with the black trousers as well. You could even wear it with um, jeans. As that would look nice. So, yeah. So, this is this one. Actually, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. It is a really nice top. But, like I said, I popped it back onto Vinted. It's already sold. Um, yeah, I just... I just want to keep things that I know I'm just always going to reach for. And I've started to think that actually I want to be more mindful with what I what I buy. I want to be able to wear... Um, I want to be able to wear a lot of my items in many different ways. And I know this top is a kind of not that type of clothing. It's more of a dressy top. But yeah, I just felt like I'm not going to reach for it. And it's a size 24 um, and I'm still trying to lose a bit more weight. So eventually, this is actually going to be too big for me. Probably like that shirt. But I should really maybe upload, shouldn't I? Yeah, maybe I should really upload it, but I haven't. Anyway, next up is this Evans cardigan. Uh, I bought this, brand, it was brand new. Uh, and I bought it for about £6.50. As you can see, it's brand new. I haven't washed it because it only came yesterday. It has got a bit of a... It's got... I don't know. It's got a little bit of a smell to it. Um, I bought this because it's... I don't know if it's a li if it might be a little bit old. No, I shouldn't say old, but I don't know. But I did think like it was quite smart. And I thought with a nice little blouse underneath... Um, I felt like, because I do like to look a bit more smart and mature, I'm, I'm 40, you know, I'm going to be 41 this year and I just, I don't know, my way of dressing has drastically kind of, not drastically, but I just feel like I want to dress smarter, a bit more classy um, and I liked the colour of this, so it's got a kind of different colour than I'm used to, I'm not really used to like this kind of type of colour, but it's got this sort of um, kind of beigey um, colour on the inside with these turnover bits at the front and then the turnover bits at the sleeve, so yeah, this is this one, like I said, I only got it yesterday, I just... Has got a little bit of a thing. I didn't notice that there. Can you see that, guys? Nothing that can't be sorted. Um, so, yeah, and it does have pockets as well. So, yeah, this is this one. I think I'm going to keep it because I feel like I will wear it. I do love a cardigan. Like, I love a cardigan. I love a coat and I love a cardigan. I love coats, cardigans and blazers. Guys, you are probably thinking, Jodie, you love everything. <laughs> I do, I love clothing. So yeah, so that's what that one, which um yeah, I I feel like I will wear this and I like looking smart, so this is um very smart. This I didn't actually buy from Vinted, I bought it from H and M and it came yesterday. <laughs> Guys, I look I've not been on YouTube and I've not bought clothes in ages, so I've gone on a bit of a rampage. Um yeah. So this is from H&M. It's a lovely khaki satiny, um, satiny blouse. I feel like, why am I buying so many satiny blouse? But like I said, this is what I want to wear. Um, it wasn't too expensive either. And I got it in a 2XL, which is a 22-24, I think. Um, but this kind of is in replace 
movement of that other one that I'm sending back to the lady. So this fits me a lot better. I haven't ironed it um, because it just came yesterday, but like this is, um, it is a fairly bit baggier, but I think once it's ironed, it will look a lot nicer. And it's this beautiful sort of khaki color. I think this would look really nice with some, um, like I've got these, and they're called ig igloo, iku, igloo. They're not white. They're sort of like a cream. But this and this, lush, really like that. Um, so this, yeah, would look really smart with these. So that's kind of like a um, outfit option. Uh, again, it, look, it looks nice with the black or even blue if you want to wear blue. Actually, oh yeah, guys. I bought these on Vinted as well. I forgot. So I bought these on Vinted. Um, I got them for five pounds, and they are Primark boots. They are a wide fit size nine, and they fit beautifully. How beautiful and classy are these? Um, I actually see these on this morning, I think, or somewhere on telly they were doing, you know, when I show you the outfit from top to bottom, uh, and they had these boots on, and I was like, they are so nice, but whenever I go in Primark, there's only limited of the wide fit nines, so yeah, when I see someone selling these, I was like, I am I need those, I've got a little gold buckle, and they, they are really nice, so this is going to look, I mean, that, that, I mean, I mean, guys you know or an all, all kind of cream moment um so yeah really love these five pounds what a steal so yeah so i um they didn't the lady the girl did wrap them nicely but they weren't in a plastic bag but i've popped them in here because they're light color i don't want them to get any scuffs on them so i've popped them in this bag to keep them nice and um fresh and clean so yeah, so that's those ones. Okay, so yeah, so this is this top. Really like this top. Like I said, I'm wearing it a size 22, 24. Um, and you can, you like these type of neutral colours, like I can mix and match with a lot. Um, like you can, like I said, you can wear your blouses open and put a, a t-shirt or a tight little basic top underneath, a little white top underneath, or you can do so much. Um, and how much was this? I think it was like twelve ninety nine, so it wasn't that expensive. But it's to add to my silky blouse collection. So yeah, really, really love this. Um, I did order another one, but I'm sending it back. I'm not even going to bother showing you because it's just rubbish. So that's that one, and then. This has all been bought over a period of time. This isn't all just like in one week or something, just so you guys know. So I picked up this um, Alter Graph Marks and Spencers brand new red jumper. Absolutely stunning. Look at the look at the arms. Um, really, really nice. I uh, picked this up for how much was this? I think this was about six pound fifty. Um, Everything I get is like below a tenner. If I can get it below a tenner, I am I am happy. When I get things for two pounds, like I've got a couple of things that I got for two pounds or a pound, I'm like, yeah. Um, this is this was brand new. I pulled the tags off. I think this is a little bit short on the short side, as you can see. Um, but I honestly, it's a really nice. A really nice fit so I would actually wear this I don't know if I'd feel I mean I don't know if I feel comfortable wearing trousers like this with with this top but maybe some wide leg trousers uh, but I tried it on and I said to hubby oh my god it's short I didn't realize it was gonna be short and he goes but it looks really nice on um, so he was like keep it because some things I'm like oh should I just resell it and he's like yeah like that blouse the the goldy one he was like resell it because it looks too big on you but yeah this one he was like no keep it it looks really nice um so yeah it's uh quite a short fitted top but it is really nice it's got this lovely sort of like um 
detail down the front, like a line detail. Like I said, it was brand new. Um, and I loved the sort of the arm, the cuff detail, like this puff bit here. Just adds a little bit of je ne sais quoi. Um, and yeah, I love the neckline as well. Very classy, beautiful neckline. <sighs> what do you think, guys? This is what it looks like at the back. So yeah, I don't know if I'd feel comfortable wearing, I don't know if I'd just feel comfortable wearing trousers like this, but it does look quite smart wearing it like this. Um, but yeah, this is an absolute steal. The quality, the feel of this feels really nice. And you know what? I bought myself a, a, an autograph jumper in the sale from Marks and Spencers when I bought that really nice coat. And the quality of that jumper is just, it is just phenomenal. And after that, I just thought I'm never buying a jumper from anywhere else. That's, that was, that's what I thought. I thought I, I'd rather save up and put money aside and buy nicer quality clothes than buy um, cheaper quality and not get much wear or, you know, it's, it's, I think it's better to buy clothes that you, um, can get more wear out of so if they're a little bit more expensive but you are gonna make the most of them i'd definitely say that because sometimes i'll buy a cheaper piece of clothing wear it once and and then like it's really quite bad if you think about it so yes yeah, so i'm being more mindful when clothes shopping these days so this top actually right let me show you so this top uh okay Right, let's show you these first so these trousers i bought um i did not realize they were brand you can see their brand now can't you but i did not realize these were brand they are a really beautiful pair of karen miller um trousers which i don't know if they were new i think they were worn once or twice um they are really nice they are slightly on the bigger side for me I'm not sure if I'm going to re-upload these. Um, they've got a lovely sort of um, sort of zip detail here at the side, and they've got the pleather side bit, and then uh, like a stretchy material on the inside. But I bought these, and the the lady, um, the kind lady, bless her, sent me this top for free. Um, this is a Karen Miller. Uh, top two in a size 22 so this is a size 22 those trousers are a size 22 but they do feel slightly i like tight fitting trousers i don't i don't want trousers that feel loose on me because i don't like that feel of having to keep pulling them up or feel bag anywhere and those feel like there's a little bit of bag sag so yeah i'm you know i may re-upload those even though i really don't want to but this was so kind of her actually let me pull my um my bra straps down just so you can get the full effect but this was so kind of her she sent me a message and she was like did you like my um free little gift that i put in the parcel and i was like thank you so very much that was so kind of you um, and I love a cold shoulder moment. You guys know I love a top that shows my shoulders. My shoulders are my sexy. So, um, pull this down. So this is this top and it is really rather quite nice. Like I do, I do like an off the shoulder, um, top as you can see. I, I probably have a couple of tops like this, but yeah, a really like easy breezy top to put on, show your shoulders, it's got a nice bit of length in it, it's a beautiful quality top as well, really nice, like I said, it's a Karen Miller top, um, and this is what it looks like at the back, looks really nice with the black trousers, I think maybe she may have worn it with the brown trousers, I'll show you what these brown trousers look like. For me, I don't feel comfortable in them. They feel, um, they feel a little bit baggy. They fit me, but they feel a little bit baggy. Right, this is how I'm going to take the trousers off. Just swoop them up and kick them off. Right, so we'll pop them there, and then these look. They are quite big. They fit, but oh, my back. Ow! It just clicked. 
Alright. Oh god. Oh we heard it. I'm not undoing the zip at the side, which is naughty Jody. Okay, see they do fit me, but they make me feel not so good. So this this is what they look like. And they fit. Right, don't don't they fit. Like I'm they're not too big. But they're not really tight like I'm used to. I like a real skin tight pair of trousers. I guess that's just not what these are like. I think the lady may have worn this outfit together because this, this has got brown in it and these trousers are brown. So I think that's maybe why she sent this to me. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know if this is a bit of me anymore, but like i said really nice quality very kind of her and yeah i still haven't made my mind up on how i feel about these trousers um hubby said that to keep them he said that they were they were nice that they fit nicely on me but yeah we will we will see i'd love to hear what you guys think but yeah this was really kind of her to send me this top as well um so yeah, so that was that. Okay, I honestly, um, so I used to live in like black um, Simply B leggings. Like they had these really nice thick, thick leggings, which are about 20 something pounds, but they are like trouser leggings. They're more trouser leggings than actual leggings. They're nice and really thick. One pair I got some bleach down them and then the other pair got like a stain on the bottom. So, um, and they started feeling a little bit loose. So I didn't have them anymore. And then the other trousers that I had are all too big for me. Hence why, like I've bought myself quite a few um, items, like bottoms and stuff like that, because I had a sort out of my drawer um, and I've only kept in here what still fits me. So there's not this these are gym leggings over here and then in the middle are like some trouser kind of leg trouser kind of leggings st style uh, bottoms or whatever but there's no sort of plain black bottoms and I, I love black bottoms so like I said um I got those River Island ones that I showed you and then I also picked up these um black skinny high rise jeans they are autograph again from marks and spencers brand new um 45 pounds and i got these for like eight pound guys i got these for eight pound and honestly you guys need to jump on the vintage because i'm not even joking but you have to be a bit like me where you're literally constantly on there watching for when people upload stuff you can tap things in the um in the search bar um what size are these you can tap things so they're size 22 you can tap things in this in the search bar so if you're like me i like the marks and spencer's autograph i'm always putting in autograph in the top to see what people new things people have uploaded on there um every day and so yeah you can keep an eye and you can favor you can put them as your favorites so they you can tap things so what i do is i normally scroll keep looking when i see things i like if they're not really really cheap and i don't like them instantly like i think oh i can see if i can find something better i will favor it so i'll press the heart button and it'll go into my favorites and then what i do once i've gone through the whole list i'll go back to my favorites and then i'll look and see the best things that i like the most and then i'll buy something but if there's something that's really cheap and i really like it there and then buy it because i've made that the mistake before where i favored it when i've gone back to my favorites it's already sold so yeah just be mindful like with certain things so again these are the black autograph jeans I don't have, I've literally got rid of all my black jeans. They're in the vintage pile, ready to go. And so, yeah, I'm so happy that I picked up these. Like I said, the brand new. I got them for like less than a tenner. They are a beautiful length. Like they fit me right to the bottom. Um, they come up nice and high waisted. They have pockets at the front and also pockets at the back. <sighs> 
honestly really really happy with these so so comfortable um so yeah so i've got those and then uh oh oh i picked up this next green um top which was pre-loved it was a panned but it doesn't fit very well like the shape of it i mean it fits but it it's a little bit tight on my t like my biggest part of my body which is on this bit here so because i do love a, a green moment but it i feel like it's too small it needs ironing as well guys but can you see like if i pulled it all the way down it's tight so if i kind of like kind of wear it like this but i it was only a pan so i can't really I think it was a pound or two pounds but i can't really it was it yeah it wasn't no more than two pounds it was i don't know a pound one pound fifty i don't know it was something like that but it was really cheap but if i just kind of do it like this then it's not so bad it's nothing special nothing to sort of thing you home about but you know it's a next which is nice quality and yeah i'm not sure i might just re-upload it i'm not sure we'll have to see but i did think oh you know when i do lose a little bit more weight it will be a bit more it'll flow and hang a bit better uh so yeah so that was this one which yeah i'm a bit meh there's other things that i'm like i love i'm going to show you one that i absolutely love which i've already popped into my wardrobe because all of this stuff i've hung it and put it all to the side to show you guys um but there was one thing that i bought on i'm gonna get it out of my wardrobe here there was one thing that i bought that i haven't showed you yet which is this beautiful look at that satin uh marks and spencer shirt so it's got the tag on it it was size 24 um it shows on there that it was 29 pounds something then it was 23 pounds something and i bought this for six pounds <sighs> let me show you what it looks like on i absolutely the color of this is actually to die for and the sizing is actually, well, when I tried it on, it fitted really nice. I've had it a couple of weeks now. Needs to iron and the collar needs to be fixed. But how beautiful is that? Like, it's just so classy. Like, it's just so nice wearing a lovely, like, little silk moment. And, like, you can tuck it in as well, wear it, sort of, and, like, style it. So you can tuck it into trousers. Um, and, yeah, just the colour of this is just so beautiful. I need to iron it so it kind of sits a bit better. Um, but, yeah, how beautiful. Look at the colour of this so beautiful this is a color that i never knew suited me until i started doing youtube and trying on so many different clothes and colors and i came across a pink top like this and i thought oh i'll order it just to show you guys and um i put it on and was like oh my god i absolutely love that color on me i never ever dreamed of like thinking of like a pinky purpley color it's just it's just not one that I've ever thought, oh yeah, I love that colour, but now I really do. Um, so yeah, like I said, it was a really lovely still. It brand new with the tags on and I got it for literally like £6. So yeah, what a bargain. Um, I'm going to pop this back in my wardrobe. And the reason I actually have a cream one, the same um so yeah i that's why i knew it, that one was gonna fit me and look nice so yeah so that's that um what else do i have to show you i have some other black trousers to show you and then we're we're done i can't believe i actually got through this so yeah these are really nice i have a new pair of black jeans to go into my trouser drawer because there are no black jeans in there. I took them all out. This is how I'm taking my trousers off, guys. 
it's just <laughs> right so that's these so there's two two more trousers that i need to show you so here are another pair of black real leather real leather these are honestly these were i think the best still of everything so these are a real leather pair of um uh what are they autograph trousers um and if you have a look you will see that the real leather trousers um from autograph like they range anything from i don't know like up to nearly 200 pounds um these ones are leather real leather at the front that like genuine leather at the front and then like a stretchy kind of material at the back um and these are a size 22 so i got these for 10 pound the lady had them up for i think 20 or maybe 18 or she had them up for something and i was really bartering with her and i always check to see how long they've been listed for if they've been listed for ages and they've not sold then i think i can go in a bit more harder because they no one's interested in them so i'm giving you interest here come on <laughs> You guys are probably thinking, Jodie. Um, so, yeah, so they'd been listed and she'd listed them for quite a lot of money. And I think no one obviously wants to pay that price. But for me, they were brand new with tags on them. And, you know, I, I know how much these go for, it, like, brand new from the shop. The thing is, the thing is, I will say, like, mostly everything, I've had such a good experience with mostly everything. However, I think two items that come that smell or smelt a bit frowsy um or had like animal hair on and these had like animal hair on like cat hair on the back of them so yeah like i don't know if you can see they still got a little bit of like can you see a little bit of cat hair or whatever i mean i'm not going to complain too much like, i can wash them and sort it out but that's the only thing like when i send stuff because obviously yeah we don't smoke in the house there's no smoking and like we have got a cat but it's a short haired cat and she doesn't molt so yeah i just am very mindful when sending clothes to people that you send it in the best possible way so yeah that was the only thing but i can't i can't qualm about these trousers because they you know they're an expensive pair of trousers um but anyway oh my god i'm jabbling on um let's pop them on so see these that i really like them however they don't fit me I think maybe because they're genuine, they're, they're real leather that, and they may need to be worn in. I think that's what it is. Where when you get faux leather, when you get faux leather, they're a bit more, um, they kind of like go into the shape of your body a bit more. But these, they, I feel like they need to be worn in a bit. So, right. They are really nice though. So this is what they look like. Like, can you see they they kind of see I'm used to like trousers that literally go into all the curves of your body. So under my tummy, I'm used to them like kind of going in. But these don't go in, they just go straight, which actually probably is better because it looks a little bit more I don't know, I shouldn't say flattering because when they say flattering it's kind of means that you look slimmer but they kind of go like this instead of sort of going in if you understand what i mean but they do fit really nice and they feel really comfortable um let me pull the camera down a little bit so you guys can see really i'm really chuffed with these they feel so luxurious on um and they've got like the stretchy back bit which is really nice and stretchy like it's really nice and stretchy but feels really thick and quality like the quality feels really nice so like you know these are going to last a very very long time uh the length of them are perfect honestly i think these and the next trousers that i'm going to show you were the best like still but to be honest i've done really well with um, I've done really well with the trousers. Like I cannot complain. The tra like all the trousers that I got, I've done really well. There's been a couple of um, oh god, my back. There's been a couple of tops that have not worked. 
but overall my experience with vintage has been really really good um yeah like like you see they're just they're brand spanking new they're absolutely stunning and on the inside look at these like they've got like a lining in them and everything they're just they're stunning they're stunning so these were literally they were a still <laughs> honestly um so yes yeah, so i've done i think i've done really well with the trousers so those are those <laughs> so these are the next pair which are a beautiful black pair these were the other pair that came with cat hair on them as well i'm sure they did come from the same woman no i don't think they did um but these are autograph again and these were uh 39 pound they've still got the tags on them oh my god I just noticed they've got a size 16 on them. Do you know, wonder why these did not fit me. I So these were advertised as a size 20, right? And I was like, I'll have these. I don't care. I will get into them. And when they came, I tried to get these on. And I was like, oh my God, these are so small. Uh, but I was like, I said to hubby, I really like them. I was like, they fit the leg, but to get my be my belly in them, like the legs are sh really stretchy, right? Like uh, they're thick, but stretchy. And my God, I didn't even look at the tag, guys. Oh my goodness, I've got my fat backside in them. But look, <sighs> can't breathe though cannot breathe these were advertised as a size 20 and when they came and i tried them on i was like i am so disappointed that these do not fit me because they are so nice and to see actually when i looked on the tag again it actually says size 16 that's really upset me so yeah i am um, like this is what they look like at the back i love like this kind of like leathery detail on the top and look, the pockets are actually bursting. But yeah, they are, they feel so nice on the leg. Now I need to try and get out of them. I cannot believe that these are a size 16. Great. So, these are these ones which I'm so very disappointed about because, yeah, they are so nice. This is what the bottoms of them look like. I'm not going to be selling these. I am going to get my fat backside in these trousers at some point because i absolutely love them oh, god that was a workout and a half so yeah like these and those other ones were like my biggest kind of bargains that actually um well actually these were only 39 pound 50 and i think i got these for like eight pound the best bargains were those real leather the real leather ones and the last thing of the vintage were these really light blue uh, jeans which I'm sure that these are jeggings if they don't have pockets in the front are they not classed as jeggings but anyways I got these for a tenner I think they were a tenner they were just less than a tenner um, and they had the tags on them still and she she paid I don't know 48 40 pounds for them or something like that um, they're in a size 22 um they're really high waisted as well i don't even need to undo the button because they're really quite stretchy um as you can see they're super duper high waisted really comfortable nice and long like they're really long i went to go like this when i tried them on and i was like where's the pocket there's no pockets um but they do have pockets at the back but yeah, really nice, high-waisted, a light-coloured jean. So yeah, I don't have a light-coloured jean like this. I got rid of, I've got like four pairs of jeans in there and they're all darker. So yeah, these were a really nice pair of jeans to add to my collection.
Oh my God, I'm so knackered, guys. Okay, let's open this together. Okay, like I said to you, um, I had to get rid of all my jeans because they were all too big. Um, I do have one pair of white jeans in here. So these are not white, they're cream. And then I do have one pair of white jeans, but these are in a size 24 and they are slightly big, but I didn't put them in the vintage pile yet because I didn't have any other white jeans. And then when I was looking on ASOS, I found these high rise, let's, I found these high rise River Island jeans um, in the sale for £11. And I was like, oh, they feel really nice. Oh God, I picked them up in a size 20. I weren't sure if I should have got the 22 or the 20. I really wasn't sure. I was. I should have just picked, put, why didn't I put both of them in my basket and just send one of them back? So these are a size 20. Oh, why did I not get a 22? <sighs> Jody. Oh, actually, hold on. Hold on. Oh no, why did I not get a 22, Jody? They're not going to be on sale now. Why did I not get the 22? Like I'm literally beating, look. Oh, why did I do that? The quality of these feel really, really nice. They're really nice and thick. Very disappointed. I don't know why I didn't. You know what it is? I've got a few jeans that are size 20 and they fit really nice. The the 22s feel like they're just too baggy. <sighs> so yeah, so look. £46, size 20. And they are too small. They're high rise, skinny. So that's a shame. These are going to have to go back. That's such a shame because I re that's luckily I didn't get rid of those ones in in my um, in my drawer yet because they do still fit me, but they are slightly baggy. So so those are a no go. So next. This is a weird one for me because I've never ever tried a pair of mum jeans. These are a ASOS Design Curve Slim Mum Jean in a mid blue. I've never tried a pair of mum jeans on because I've always felt like, nah, nah, they're not for me. So today we're going to try them together. They feel really nice. I just don't know if these are a bit of me. They're in a size 22. They've got a bit, of, I can feel a bit of stretch. Oh my God, I just don't know. It just feels weird when you're not like suffocated by your jeans where they're like not tight. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know guys what do you think let me pull the camera down a bit I actually think they're okay I got a 34 leg there it feels weird for them not to be like tight at the bottom here but I just wanted something with a different type of style What do you think? I like the colour of them. You guys are going to have to let me know what you think. It's like they're quite baggy here. That's, I think, the, how they're meant to be. But I'm just not used to jeans being baggy there. I'm not sure. 
Is that does that look weird? Does this look weird here, guys? I'm I'm hoping you guys are gonna let me know. What do you think about these jeans? Please do let me know because they look a bit I think they look a bit weird. I think this crutch bit looks a little bit weird. Maybe I have to try an outfit on and then see. So lastly, I I ordered this hoodie. Not that I needed any new hoodies, but I just thought this was a really nice sort of... It was in the basics. I was looking at basics, like T-shirts and stuff. And I thought, oh, this would be really nice. Like with a pair of jeans and a white T-shirt underneath. It's quite big. What size is this? Uh, a 2XL. It's really big. I like the colour of it. How nice is this colour? But I thought this is quite nice with like the slouchy jeans and like a, just like a red hoodie. What do you think, guys? Let's pull this up a bit. Does this look too big, the hoodie? Or is it okay to be like slouchy like this? Shall I do it up? It is really quite big. probably wear it open to be honest though with a white or black t-shirt underneath and a pair of trainers and jeans let me know does this look too big shall I order a smaller size I think I'll keep it though because I don't have a hoodie this colour and I actually think it looks really quite nice um let me know what you think about this and this I would really appreciate your feedback so yeah so that's that okay so I remember I love a pair of trainers I see these oh they've put my cream in there oh, so I restocked on one of these creams that are for like these are like it's like a mild acne kind of cream it's really good really like that so that um picked up these some what are they called they're called uh sambranos or something like that but i just um i really like them and i thought that they would go really nice with like anything really like the basics like a, a nice outfit um they 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 look really nice they look big but i have got big feet so i'll try them on in a little while so i've picked those up I mean, the rest are like shoes that were um, like quite cheap. But like, I need some kind of plain coloured, you know, like to go with like when I'm wearing a nice blouse because I don't wear high shoes anymore. But I just wanted something to go with, um, go with like uh, a nice blouse and a a pair of trousers or whatever so yes yeah, so i ordered those um what else is in here oh i ordered myself another pair of these i honestly have like run my ones of these into the ground they're so nice they i got their like 11 pound and i just bought myself another pair because i just thought when mine go like and they're gone at least i've got another pair to replace them with um and they live in pants and they look really smart i've even worn them in the evening like when i've gone out um with an outfit i'll just turn the camera around and show you so these are the black shoes they're really really comfortable guys and for the price like for 11 pounds like you literally cannot go wrong i got them in a size 10 i think or 9 or 10 but they're wide fit and they're just really comfortable um sorry about the mess in the background <laughs> but yeah really really like these so yeah these are these ones let's try the next ones on so these are 
the um, cream ones. I say these are like a slightly bit tighter than those black ones that I tried on, but they do feel like they need just they need to be worn in a little bit. But they are really quite smart. Um, they're like a really nice kind of uh, like linen kind of looking pair of shoes um but yeah i do feel like they look um quite smart on and yeah really nice for like a smarter look especially if you've just you know wearing a blazer and uh, or a blouse or even a t-shirt with a blazer over the top and a pair these um are a bit more smart to wear on your feet so yeah i do feel like i need to wear these in um they do fit but uh, yeah i feel like the material was just not as kind of stretchy as or not as yeah giving as as those ones are as soon as you put these on your feet they feel like they will stretch really quickly these feel like they need to be worn in a couple of times but they do fit really nice so yeah there's those in there there's those ones okay so next up are these white slingbacks but they're too small they're a size nine um, and they are slightly too small which is such a shame because I really like these I do love a pointy shoe um, and I don't have any white shoes and that's why I wanted to pick these up but like I said um, yeah they're too small I'm going to go back online and see if I can get these in a bigger size like a 10 or 11 even because I know they go up to an 11 because um, I want them to be comfortable so yeah really like these but um they just yeah they're too they're too small I mean, i'm not gonna force them um but again like that these are cheap as chips as well like their shoes like this on on asos are really quite good priced um and i like that because you can change your shoes with your outfit um and you're not breaking the bank so yeah that's the last pair of shoes so lovelies that is the end of this vineyard stroke asos haul i really do hope you enjoyed it it's a bit different than my normal haul i was just like uh trying clothes on for all of my besties that's what it felt like um showing you all the bits that i picked up so i have decided that i am going to put the um where is it oh that goldy um key key co and k uh shirt back on to vintage because yeah it does swamp me and it is a bit too big and yeah i probably won't reach for it because of the way um it fits like it is a bit too big so yeah i will pop that back onto vintage um i think i'm gonna put that green one back on there and i think i'm gonna put that caramilla one on there as well because although it's really nice i don't know if i'm actually going to reach for it so i just want to be mindful with what i keep in my wardrobe i've already got a lot um and i just don't want to keep things that i'm not going to like wear um so yeah so yeah so i'm gonna pop those three back on plus i have a whole load of stuff that i sorted out yesterday um i pulled loads of stuff out of my wardrobe um some things out the summer out of my summer um stuff and also um just yeah some other bits and bobs that i've uh, pulled out and some handbags and whatever else so yes yeah, so i'm going to pop them onto vintage hopefully at some point today but yeah i really enjoyed uh this haul and i really hope that you try out vintage honestly this is not a sponsored video or anything but i just yeah want to share what brings me joy and what you know what's bringing you know i love a bargain like i'm the biggest bargain hunter my mum was i just remember my mum always bargaining with people and i'm exactly the same so yeah i love finding things uh for a bargain so yeah if you can get it for cheaper why not so yeah like literally I'm so happy with all of the trousers like the river island jeans river island, river island trousers i've got two pairs of yeah two pairs of river island bottoms um and then the autograph bottoms and stuff like that and those leather ones as well what an absolute steal so yeah can't complain most part of everything that i've picked up um i absolutely love there were a few things that i hadn't showed you that um 
like there was two other tops that I didn't show you that I bought from Vinted, but I packed them up and I reloaded them back onto Vinted. So yeah, but I did show you quite a lot. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, you want to pick up some bargains, get yourself on Vinted and just keep looking. You might not find something straight away, but you will eventually. Um, so yeah, go do it today. I will link my Vinted um, app link my page link down below in the description for you if you are interested in picking any bits up for yourself um there's a i can't remember what her name is there's a lady that um she's always saying when you put that red dress on vinted i i'm literally gonna be the first one to buy it do you know what i've got uh, a red dress i can't remember um is it kate kitson or it might be a joe brown oh joe i don't know but i haven't even worn it yet it's a size 24 and i do have to actually try it on and see if it fits me still it's brand new with tags and i'm going to be really disappointed if it don't fit but yeah it may go on vintage very soon i don't know you'll have to wait and see but anyways i have had so much fun today and i hope you've enjoyed it and i look forward to seeing you all in my next haul take care of yourself and god bless you all Mwah. bye guys